Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class. Our textbook is Weekend 2 and today inshallah we will cover Unit 2 My Things Phonics on page 17. This lesson will be presented by me teacher Mazina Harbi and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al-Aqil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last lesson, we did had an interesting lesson where we learned the differences between two sound, the sound that starts with SP and also the other sound that starts with SW. And also we learned that among other lessons that sometimes we may found different sounds with uh, or different uh, letters that may have the same sound or similar sounds like for example when we have c and h with the sound of ch and s and h with the sound of sh and also other uh, other words or other uh, letters that starts with sl or sp or sm or even sn and s and t so all of these uh, sets of letters, usually we use them for different words. And also we use them when we want either to chant, either to listen, or either when we uh, read a couple of these words. So today we have these two sets of words or two sets of letters that we're going to practice on. So last time we said that we need to listen for these words we need to listen for these words and after we listen we need to say them again when we listen we need to say them after the teacher and after this we need to put a number on them either if it's the first sound we would say one and then if it's the second sound we would say number two and what we're going to do next which is the fourth part we're going to write the missing letters of the following words. So in this exercise, last time we did learn how to, to do four things in one exercise. First, we need to listen to these different words or different sounds. And the second thing we did is that we need to say them again, to say these sounds or these uh, words with the teacher. And after this, we're going to number them. We need to number them. If they have the same or the first sound, we would say they are number one. If they have the second sound, we would say that they have or uh, they represent the sound of uh, number two. And the fourth thing we have, which is that we need to write the missing letters. So here we can see different uh, missing letters. So we need to write down uh, these uh, letters. So four things that we did in the last exercise. So before we, we move on to the exercise, let's first get to know and remind ourselves again with these sounds. So the first sound here we have is the sound that has two letters, S and P. So now I'm going to say uh, this word and I would like you to say it after me. So, I would like you to point at this uh, uh, word with me and say this word after me. Spider. Spider. Say after me. Spider. Very good. So, here we have the first word. Spider, which is, starts with the sound of S and P. Now, let's move on to the second word. And the second word starts with S and W. Now let's listen to the word. And after you listen, I would like you to say these words after me. So here, I would like to point at the word and say after me. Sweater. Sweater. Say after me. Sweater. Very well. So now we did listen to two of these uh, words with different sounds. The first one is spider and the second word with another sound which is sweater. Spider, sweater. Now, 
After listening to these different words and different sounds, now it is time that we move on to the uh, exercise. So, knowing that these different sounds, spider and sweater, now it is time that we can do the other parts, which is to number these words. We listen to these words and we number them. If they have the first sound, which is S and P, then we're going to write number one on these words. And if they have the second sound, which is uh, uh, S and W, then we will write uh, number two. And after this, as we said, we're going to write the missing letters for the following uh, words or for the, the other words. Now, can you see here? Here we do have four different pictures. So, as this, here we have a picture of an animal. Here we have a picture that uh, uh, represents a piece of clothing. Now, here we do have a picture of a certain season. And also here we have a picture uh, of uh, a player. And here we have a picture of this girl. And here we have uh, a picture of an animal as well or a bird. Uh, to be more specific. So now let's listen to the first picture and after we listen we're going to say or determine if this picture has the first sound then we would say we're all we were right here in this uh, square we're going to write number one or number two depends of the sound and after this the second part is that we're going to write the missing letters down here in this uh, blank. So let's listen to the first word. The first word is spring. Spring. Say after me. Spring. Very good. So the word is spring. So what do you think? Does this word belong to the first sound or the second one? Spring. It is, of course, belong to the first. So here we go. And we write number one in this, uh, uh, in this square. We write number one. And what we should fill in this word with? Should we fill it with S and P or S and W? We, of course, should complete it with S and P. So here you go. We write our first word, which is the word spring, which is a season that usually comes after winter. Very good. Now let's listen for the second word and we will do exactly the same. We're going to decide whether the, the uh, following word has the first or the second sound and then we're going to write down the missing letters. So the second word is sport. Sport. Say after me. Sport. So the second word is sport. So what do you think? Does sport belong to the first sound or does it belong to the second sound? It is of course belong to the first sound that starts with S and P. And what do you think we should complete it or fill it in with? Should we fill it in with S and P or S and W? It is, of course, we can fill it in with S and P. So here you go. Here we have our second word, which is sport. Now, after we finish the first one and after we finish the second one, let us move on straight to the third one. Now, let's listen to the third picture. The third picture is swing. Swing. Say after me. Swing. So, what do you think? The word is swing, which is, of course, as we can see here, it is, or it represents the second sound that starts with S and W. So, of course, now we can know that we can fill it in with S and W. So, here we have the word swing. Now, let us move on to the last word we have for this list. Let's listen to the last word and then we will decide whether it matches the first or the second sound. 
The last word we have is swan. Swan. Say after me, swan. Very good. So the word swan. Which, uh, which of these sound does the word swan uh, go with? Is it with the first one uh, that starts with S and P or with the second one that starts with S and W? It is, of course, goes with the second sound, which is number two. So here you go. We write here number two. And what we, which we should uh, fill it in with? We should fill it in not with sp but with s and w so here we go this this is how we answered this exercise so let's uh, again try to listen one more time to these words let's try to listen to it and say it after the teacher i'm going to say all the three sounds as we have here for the first group and also all the other three sounds with a number two. So let's start with the first one. So the words with the first sound with S and P are spider, spider, spring, spring, sport, sport. Very well. Now let's listen to the words of the second sound that starts with S and W. Let's listen to them. Number two, words that starts with S and W. Sweater, sweater, swing, swing, swan, swan. Very good. So here you go, we have listened to all of these six words and we did practice and had to know how to differentiate between words that has the SP or starts with SP and words that starts with S and W. Now, the other exercise we had last time, which is we said that try to read and color all the vowels we have. A, E, I, O, and U. We said that uh, it is important that we read this story and that is called a funny day. And after we do, we need to match or color all the vowels. So let's read it uh, together. A funny day. A fat cat sat on a mat. A fat hen sat on a pen. A fat fox sat in a box, and a fat bug sat on a rug. So we said here that after reading this story, then we can go on and try to color all the vowels that we can see here. For example, the first vowel we can see is A. So here we can go and color letter A as the first vowel. And you can do this with all the rest of the vowels, which are a letter A, for example, and also letter O. And the other vowel we have is the letter E. Letter E, as we can see here. So we did color letter A, letter O, and here we go with letter E. And also with a uh, letter U. So here we can color letter U. As you can see here, so we can go ahead and color all of these uh, vowels and even letter I. So try it. It is important that you are able to color all the vowels that you can see in this story. And you can do the same with the rest of the vowels. Now let's get to know our objectives in today's lesson. At the end of this lesson, we hope that you can differentiate between SP and SW and also to read and color a story that is called A Funny Day. And to continue doing this, I would like you please to open your books on page 17. So the first exercise that we have for our lesson, which is I would like you to find the numbers and draw lines. 
So what we're going to do here is that we're going to listen and count and say the missing number. So this is a game where we can read all the numbers we can see here, 40, 60, 80, 81, 63, 57, up to 100. And what we're going to do after uh, reading and counting all of these numbers from 40 to uh, 100, we will see some uh, numbers that are missing. So what we're going to do is that we're going to write these numbers uh, between these uh, circles until we have a, a, the whole sets of numbers that starts from 40 and ends with uh, 100. For example, here we have number 40, but we don't have number 41, for example. So what we're going to do is we're going to write number 41 until we finish the whole numbers from 40 up to 100. And after this, after we finish, after we draw lines from 40 to 100, then it is time that we start counting these numbers. So it is recommended that you can play this with a friend who will help you in finding these missing numbers so you can draw lines between the uh, numbers in a perfect order from 40 to 100. Try this with a partner and see and you will end up with an amazing result. So this is about our lesson for today. So it is important that you can read a funny day story by yourself and also to count from 40 to 100. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.